So here's a second video about calibration. Um, what we're going to do today is calibrate these oscillators to an external voltage source. So this keyboard, uh, this is a uh, Arturia Keystep. This has on the back of it a uh, pitch CV output. So we're going to calibrate these oscillators so they play perfectly or as perfectly as they can with this CV output. Uh, and this is uh, quite a different process to what we did last time, which was checking, setting up the computer so it can speak to this. So we're ignoring the computer for now. When you finish this, you need to go back and calibrate the computer against the oscillators again because the response of the oscillators will change. So you need to set up the computer accordingly. So the only things you need for this process, you need a keyboard or a sequencer or some kind of voltage that you trust, that you want to, you want to use. You need a tuner again. I normally use my phone, but I needed one that I could film because I'm filming from a phone. And you need a reasonably, reasonably fine uh, flathead screwdriver. So um, I should say in advance, this is kind of a, a sort of frustrating and slow and slightly irritating process. It also doesn't really have a, a perfect finished answer. You're not going to get this perfect, but you're going to get it um, good enough to use, I think. So we start, uh, let me just turn the sound up so you can hear what's going on. So this is the keyboard, obviously. And you'll see at some point on the keyboard, there will be a low point. So on this keyboard, that note, which is a C, it's marked eight on the keyboard, is uh, zero. So that is the kind of start point. So what we do, first of all, is we tune this top oscillator to C3 on that. So that was quite straightforward. So now if we play an octave up, you'll see it's a little bit flat. It's not perfect. If we go two octaves up, it's more flat again. And I think actually this oscillator I did calibrate and then I just squiggled the, um, the screws a bit to uncalibrate it, which is why it's not that far off. Normally you might have to, to turn it a little bit further than we're going to do today. So the way you do this is, uh, as I said, kind of slightly complicated, it's slightly counterintuitive. So you go back to your zero, you check that it's perfectly in tune, and then let's do this in a two octave jump. So we go up two octaves, and we can see it's a little bit flat. Now, what we do not do is turn this little screw in here until it's in tune. That feels like the right thing to do, but that is absolutely not the right thing to do. What you do is, if it's just a little bit out, we can see it's just not far off, you turn it maybe half a turn. Let's try that. It's a tiny little thread, so it's quite fiddly. So in. There. Okay, so I'm going to turn it half a turn. And then I go back to zero. You can see it's now very slightly flat, so I turn it up a tiny bit. And I go back up to two octaves. It's still flat. So let's turn it another, maybe a whole turn this time. Back here, you can see it's now significantly flat. And go up. See, now it's very nearly there. I mean, it's bleeped, so it's pretty close. Let's turn it just a tiny fraction, maybe a quarter turn. Back here. Let's tune that in. And up. And then we could go another octave up. 
that's pretty good. You could possibly trim it a tiny bit back down, a tiny bit high there. And then I'll trim with the screwdriver there we go, a little tiny bit back down. Tune that in, that's pretty much locked in. Now a tiny bit high, so you can see you can sort of do this as long as you have patience really um, and get it so it's good enough for you. So you go through that process and then when you're happy you'd shift both these over to the second oscillator and do exactly the same thing again. So then these two oscillators will be calibrated so they play as close as possible to one volt per octave, then go through exactly the same process you did before to calibrate the computer so it can put out the right voltages for this. And then your system should work whether you use an external keyboard or you use the internal MIDI. The other advantage of calibrating these oscill oscillators like this is you can then use either CV output in either input, which isn't a big deal, but it might be useful.